In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can crochet this super easy personalized blanket. It's made with a mini corner to corner stitch, which is just like the standard double crochet corner to corner stitch, but with half double crochet stitches. Um, it's relatively quick to work up too, so it makes a great project for a gift for someone. Okay, so let's just get right into the pattern. For this pattern, you're going to need the letter graph that you chose. Uh, you can find these on my blog or in my shop. You're also going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a size 5mm crochet hook because the yarn that I'm using is a size 4 worst, like worsted weight acrylic yarn. So you're just going to need two colors that you want to use for your project. These are just leftover scrap yarn. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of get set up here. And the first thing we're going to do is create our first square for our corner to corner. So we're going to start at the bottom right corner. We're going to make that square and we're going to work our way up to the top left corner. I'm going to show you guys how to do the half double crochet corner to corner stitch. So just add your yarn to your hook and then you're going to chain four. Okay, and then you're going to half double crochet into the third uh, chain from your hook and then into the fourth, the last chain. So you've got two half double crochets like that. And that is going to be your first square. Okay, now I'm just going to mark that I'm going to crochet those next two. So you're going to start by, again, you're going to go ahead and chain four. Then yarn over and half double crochet into that third chain from your hook and then into that fourth chain from your hook. And then you're going to want to flip it like this and then you're going to slip stitch into that chain two of that previous, in that chain two space of the previous square. And then chain two. And then you're going to half double crochet twice into that chain two space to make that next square. Um, and I don't think I said earlier, but this is the US half double crochet stitch. So you're going to be yarning over, inserting your hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. All right. And so now you can see that we have all three of those squares right here. And I'm just going to mark off the next three that we are going to make. And I'm not worried about which direction. Uh, I think I'm going in right now because there's no other color needed. So there's no right side or wrong side to the project right now. Okay, again, we're going to go ahead and chain four. And then we're going to half double crochet into that third and fourth chain from your hook for two half double crochets to make that square. Then you're going to flip it at the bottom and slip stitch into that chain two space of your previous square, chain two, then half double crochet twice into that chain two space, and that'll be your second square. And then you're going to slip stitch again into that other chain two space of the next square, chain two, and then half double crochet twice into that chain two space, and then you will have all three squares for that third row. All right, I'm going to mark the next four stitches, and again, it doesn't matter which side we think we're on right now. No right side, wrong side yet, yet um, until we start getting into making the actual letter. So, chain four, and then half double crochet into that third chain from hook, and half double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Flip the bottom of your work and slip stitch into that chain two space and continue down to make four squares total.
Okay, now I'm just going to mark that I'm going to be doing two squares of turquoise, and then I'm going to have to add in the next color. So let's get those two done. And this time we're going to pay attention to which direction we're going to be going in. So chain four and make two uh, squares. Okay, now that we have our two squares, we're going to go ahead and grab our next color and we're going to pull it through before we slip stitch into that next chain two space. To make our next square, we're going to pull through the next color. And the key to this is to keep the stitches pretty tight. You're going to see my hand kind of shakes a little. Um, and you want to keep those stitches as tight as you can. Okay, so I just wanted to mark, really quick mark that uh, on my graph to know that that's the stitch we're about to do. And we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space with our new color and pull on your tails and everything to make sure everything's super tight. And then go ahead and do, well, once we pull tight, chain two. And you're going to make your square like normal. Yarn over, insert your hook, and you're going to want to carry those tails just to kind of secure them. And you're going to carry that turquoise color with you anyway because you're going to need it again. So make that two half double crochet stitches. And then before inserting your hook to slip stitch into that chain two space for the next square, you're going to change to your turquoise color again or your other color your background color make sure you pull those super tight and then i'm going to mark off the next two um squares that i'm going to make i just want to make sure that i know that i need to do two more slip stitch into that chain two and i'm not going to carry the pink with me because i'm not going to need it again in this row so i'm just going to drop the pink and Make my two half double crochet stitches into this chain two space. And I'm going to slip, slip stitch, sorry, into that next chain two space, chain two, and add two half double crochet stitches to make that second square. And then our fourth row is complete. So this is going to be our right side of our work. Um, and you'll see that we have to, you know, remember which direction we were going in. So I'm going to be using arrows now to kind of like guide me. So I'm going to be doing three uh, turquoise squares up that way. And I know that that's the way I'm going now. Um, and you want to make sure you know what your right side is if you're going to be carrying your yarn. Because the back will look like um, it'll have, you'll be able to see your yarn being carried. So go ahead and make those three half double crochet squares. So there's one. There is two. Uh, and you're going to see this yarn is stained. That's why it's my scrap yarn. I uh, spilled a whole cup of coffee all over this yarn. So random pieces have brown all over it. And I just never washed it or anything. So I'm going to use it for this tutorial. But anyway, okay, there's our three. Now we're going to go ahead and mark off our next pink square that we're going to do. So... Go ahead and before slip stitching into that chain two space, you're going to switch to your color that you want and pull it super, super tight and bring it to the back or wrong side. You don't want anything showing on the right side. Slip stitch and chain two. You'll see there, yeah, there's nothing showing on the right side, so we're good. Chain two. And then you can, when you double crochet around that chain two space, uh, that's where you're going to carry at. You're not going to carry when you're slip stitching. So yeah, see how you're going to see that, but you're not going to see it on the right side. That's our right side versus our wrong side. <clears throat> and this is only relevant if you're carrying yarn because you don't want to keep cutting it off. So if that's something you're okay with. Okay, switch your next color. Chain two. 
Uh, and then we actually have to see how many we're doing. We're going to be doing two. Okay, so when we flip, let's get this yarn out of here, um, we can see that it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to mark off which direction we're going in. We're going to be working on the right side now. That's when we go down. And we're going to be making two squares. So go ahead and chain four. And half double crochet into that third stitch and the fourth one. Or chain, I'm sorry, not stitch. And then flip and slip stitch into that chain two space. Make your next square. And we're going to pick up our pink and bring it over. Could have carried that pink a little more, but I wasn't thinking, but it's okay, you'll see. All right, bring your turquoise yarn to the back and slip stitch with the pink into that chain two. And make sure you pull everything pretty tight. And you wanna be keeping your stitches pretty tight too. Chain two and make your square into that chain two space and you're gonna carry that crochet around the um, turquoise yarn so that you can carry it to the next couple of stitches. And this is what the back's going to be looking like. And we're going to switch to our turquoise yarn. Just pull it through and then pull tight on your pink and slip stitch into that chain two space. Pull everything pretty tight and then we're gonna see how many uh, turquoise stitches we need let's see so we just made that pink stitch and then it looks like we're gonna go one two three four so chain two half double crochet two times into that chain two space and carry that pink yarn under those stitches And you'll see I don't carry right there when I do the when I do the slip stitch. You want to only carry on, because it'll show through. So just drop it when you do the slip stitch, and then you can see, and then you can um, sing, uh, half double crochet around it again after that. And I'm carrying it with me because we are going to need it in our next row uh, after only two stitches. You'll see right here. So we're going to do two, carry it down two with us, and then, because we're going to need it in that next row. So I'm actually going to drop it now, and I'm not going to carry it under these next half double crochet squares, because it, it won't be necessary. So just make those last two. Okay, and there it is. And then we are going to <clears throat> see how many turquoise stitches we need for our next row, two. Okay. And then we're going to do quite a few pink in this in this row. Okay, so chain four. Have double crochet into that third and fourth chain to make your first square. Flip your work and slip stitch into that chain two. Again, I'm so sorry for the coffee stains. Make your next square. 
Okay, and then we're going to grab our pink. We could have actually brought the pink down one more, but that's okay. Again, you can see that it's pretty easy to work around. So add your pink on to your hook and slip stitch into that chain two. Pull everything pretty tight. Chain two. Let's see how many pink we're doing. Just one right now, and then we're gonna go one turquoise, okay. So go ahead and carry everything under those half double crochet stitches you're gonna make. One and two. And you're going to check, make sure everything looks good on the right side. And then we're going to do one turquoise square. So add the turquoise onto your hook, slip stitch into that next chain two space everything pretty tight chain two bring your bring your pink up to carry it under because we're going to need it again in the next stitch do your half two half double crochet stitches into that space check make sure everything looks pretty good always be checking just because you never know all right and that looks like we're going to be doing two pink okay so add pink to your hook and slip stitch into that chain two space. Make sure you're pulling everything pretty tight. Chain two. Bring up that other color and half double crochet around it into that chain two space twice for your square. And then make another pink. Oh, check, make sure. Okay, slip stitch into that chain two space. Chain two. Bring up that other color so you can carry it with you and then make two half double crochet stitches for that second pink square and then we are going to be doing just two turquoise And I'm going to drop the pink here because I don't need it for this row again. And it's in a pretty good spot for the next row. I don't think I'm going to need to have to bring it up too much. So just half double crochet. Slip stitch into that next one. <clears throat> okay, and then now we have our last two turquoise squares. Flip your work just to check, make sure everything's looking good. So you can see what the back side looks like versus the right side. So that's why it's good to have those arrows there so you know which one's which and which direction you should be going in too. Okay, so we're gonna do two turquoise. Chain four. Half double crochet into that third chain and to that fourth chain for your first square. Flip the bottom of your work, slip stitch into that chain two space, chain two, half double crochet twice into that chain two space. Then we're going to see how many pink, we're just going to do one. So go ahead and pick up your pink yarn, add it to your hook, pull tight, and then slip stitch. We'll push it to the back so it's in the right, wrong side. Slip stitch into that space. Pull everything really tight. And also make sure you're keeping those stitches tight too. Chain two, half double crochet twice, and carry uh, your, your pink yarn tail as well as the turquoise underneath those half double crochet stitches and then let's see how many turquoise we're going to do. We're going to do one. So before we 
slip stitch we're gonna add on turquoise to our hook and then slip stitch into that chain two space of the next stitch pull everything tight chain two and half double crochet twice carrying that pink underneath those stitches Okay, there's one turquoise. Let's see. I think it's two. Yep, two uh, pink stitches. So we're going to add pink to our hook. Push everything to the back and slip stitch into that chain two space. Chain two. Half double crochet twice into that space, that chain two space, carrying the turquoise underneath those stitches. Okay, drop the turquoise, don't carry it under this slip stitch. Chain two, and then bring that turquoise back up to carry it there. You just don't want it to show through during that slip stitch, that's why we just drop it. Half double crochet twice into that chain two space. And then we have our two pink squares. And then it looks like we have, so we're gonna do two because I wanna show you guys how it would look if we were uh, going to decrease a blanket and start moving that stitch up. But if you were making a large blanket, you would keep going. So, you know, you would keep going until you reach the desired width that you wanna make. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, but I also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start going up here um, so that you guys can see once you reach the desired width of your blanket, how to go up, how to start, you know, decreasing those stitches. So I'll show you both ways. So add on the turquoise and we're going to act like we're going to just continue with the length of our, our blanket. So drop the pink, chain two, half double crochet twice into that chain two space. another square and slip stitch into that next one okay so this is where we're gonna actually end on the graph if you notice like the graph ends right here and so that's what it would look like if you were actually going to uh, start working your way up the other side of the blanket but if you want your blanket to be wider um, you're actually going to just make another square. Just like we have been doing. So it would just add to the width. And so you will just know that you're going to have to add, you know, if you're looking at the graph, you're going to have to add another square um, to get that, that pink, that next pink stitch in the right place. Just, you know, just, you know, look at, look at it and say, okay, does that go there? Um, but we're actually going to uh, I'll show you how to start going up. So we pull that, that square out and let's see, we're going to be doing two turquoise. So we want to get our hook into that, co the corner of the previous stitch we did. So we're going to slip stitch, turn your work, slip stitch, right? Uh, in two spots. It, it really doesn't matter which two stitches you slip stitch into to get up to that corner. And then chain two and make a square like you normally would. It's a, I think it was two that we're going to be doing. So let's do two really quick. And there they are. <clears throat> so you see how it's kind of going. Hold on. It's starting to go up and not out anymore like our, our graph here and I'm you're not gonna be following this graph when you make your blanket you're going to want to make your blanket as wide as you want and as tall as you want so I'll show you that as well before you start decreasing and, and going on to the uh, the left side and the top side okay let's do a pink square 
Uh, following one of these tiny graphs like this, though, is really good if you've never done this stitch before, just to kind of get the hang of it before you go into a full blanket. Just kind of doing like a sample like I'm doing. All right, check the front. Make sure everything's looking good. Chain two. Have to double crochet twice into that chain two space with your other color being carried under those stitches. I'm just going to repeat myself so much during this video, but I think it's helpful if you've never done this stitch before just to be reminded. And then we're going to do two turquoise uh, squares. Just checking to make sure everything looks good. Add the turquoise to your hook and pull tight. Slip stitch into that chain two space and chain two. Make sure everything's looking okay. And do your two half double crochets into that chain two space, carrying that pink yarn underneath those stitches. Slip stitch into the next one. Chain two. Let me pull some more yarn out here. Half double crochet underneath that chain two space, carrying that pink yarn with it. Make sure everything's looking okay on the other, on the right side. And then let's see here, we're gonna do one pink square. Add the pink to your hook and slip stitch into that chain two space. Pull everything tight, chain two. Then we're going to yarn over, half double crochet, carrying that turquoise with us. And then we're going to do two uh, squares in turquoise. Slip stitch into that next space, chain two, and then make your next two squares in turquoise. And we drop the pink here because we're not going to need it in this row again. And the spot it's in is okay for the next row. Okay, we're going to be doing three turquoise. Oh no, not three. One, two, three, four, five. Got confused for a second. We're going to do five turquoise stitch, uh, squares. So chain four. And half double crochet into the third chain and the fourth chain from your hook to make that first square. Flip the work around and slip stitch into that chain two space, chain two. And make your next square. You're going to be making three more squares for a total of five. So kind of let you guys watch me do this really quick. So I'm going to be carrying that pink yarn underneath these half double crochets because I want to bring it down with me to that last or the fifth square that I make in this color because I'm going to need it for the sixth square. So I want to bring it down with me. Okay, so there's four. Carry that pink again for this fifth one.
Okay, now let's mark off. We're going to do one pink. So add pink to your hook. Pull everything really tight. And then slip stitch into the chain two space of the next little square. Okay. Chain two. Half double crochet two times into that chain two space carrying that turquoise underneath those stitches. And then let's check to see we need two turquoise st stitches or squares. So drop the pink, add the turquoise to your hook, and push it to the back on your wrong side. Slip stitch. Two half double crochets into that chain two space. Slip stitch into your next one, so there's one square. Chain two. And then make two half double crochets into that chain two space for our second square. And then we're going to slip stitch into there to connect them. Flip it around. And we're going to slip stitch twice until we get to the corner of that square or back into that chain two space. Because that's where we're going to start our next square. So let's see what we have to do. Two. Uh, turquoise squares So chain two and then we're going to have double crochet two into that chain two space for our first square Slip stitch into that chain two space of the next one chain two Double half double crochet twice into that chain two space for our second square. And then we're going to need pink once. So go ahead and add pink to your hook. Pull everything really tight. Slip stitch into that chain two space chain two make sure everything's looking good on the front side half double crochet twice into that chain two space and make sure you carry the other color to bring it with you because we're going to need it for this next square let's mark that Add turquoise to our hook, slip stitch into that next chain two space, pull everything tight, chain two, half double crochet two times into that chain two space, carrying the pink underneath, and then we are going to do one more pink, I believe, check the front, make sure everything looks good. Let's do another pink. So add pink to your hook and slip stitch into that chain two space, chain two, half double crochet two times, Okay, we're gonna do two turquoise stitches and we're also starting to go this way so the previous row had made our corner now we're gonna start going uh, we're gonna stop uh, increasing the height and just start going with the width okay I'm looking here and I'm not liking how it looks with the the larger gap with the pink so this is why we always check the front of our work. 
because if you don't like something, it's actually a pretty easy fix. So I'm going to take out one of those half double crochets and I'm going to try and uh, half double crochet close to that, that pink corner just by going in right here. And it'll just kind of make them look like they're closer together. Like, okay, so if I go in right there, it's not. Don't go right there. Go in right next to that stitch. It just makes them look like less of a gap right there. I don't know. It looks a little better when everything's said and done. That happens sometimes. And if your stitches are, you know, are a little loose or aren't as tight, it can look like that. Easy fix. Okay, so... If we were increasing the height of our hook, or not our hook, I'm sorry, if we were increasing the height of our blanket, just like you do on a blanket, not this little sample, um, you would do three of these uh, squares in turquoise instead of, I'm just going to do two, because I want to show you guys how to, um, you know, bring it back together the other way. <clears throat> once, you're, once you've reached your desired width and height, how to start decreasing so that you make it to the other side. So here's what we would do if we're gonna increase the height. We do a third one and it would just increase the height of our blanket and you would keep increasing like that until you reach your desired height of your blanket. But we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna pretend that we wanna end our height right here. So just flip it and then you're gonna slip stitch twice until you get to that chain two space. And then you're just going to continue on from there. So we're gonna do <clears throat> We're making, we're going to start going um, to the left and we're going to do two, uh, two squares in turquoise. So chain two and half double crochet twice into that chain two space for your first square. Then slip stitch into that next chain two space, chain two and half double crochet twice into that chain two space. There's those first two turquoise squares that we need. And let's see, we need two pink. These are our last pink stitches. So super quick, super easy. I highly recommend making one of these sample swatches if you've never done this stitch before, just to get the hang of it. It's a really easy stitch to get the hang of once you once you get going and then once you're done with the letter it's so easy to just make your blanket as wide and as tall as you want with one color super easy quick to work up you can do it while you watch a movie okay let's make finish making that first square and we're carrying that turquoise with us I forgot to mention that Okay, slip stitch into that next chain two space, chain two. Make sure you're pulling everything pretty tight. Half double crochet two times into that chain two space, carrying that turquoise behind those stitches. And then let's see, we need, I believe, three. Nope, two. Two turquoise squares. So add turquoise to your hook, pull everything pretty tight, and then you can just drop that pink. You don't need to carry it with you for these because we're done with pink now. Chain two. Go ahead and half double crochet twice into that chain two space for your next square. Slip stitch into the next chain two space. Chain two. Half double crochet twice into that chain two space for your second square. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that last chain two space, turn my work, and then I'm going to uh, mark off that I am done with pink. The next row is just five turquoise squares. Cut off that pink, we don't need it anymore. Slip stitch twice so that you can get to that chain two space. And then chain two, and then we're just going to be doing five squares of turquoise for this next row. Um, and I think I'm just going to end the recording here and just kind of let you guys uh, watch how I crochet these last 
few rows of this uh, stitch sample. If you guys have any questions at all, please comment them. I'll do my best to help you guys out in, you know, however I can. If you purchase this pattern in my Etsy store, um, you will have access to my email and, and contact me through Etsy, my email, whichever way. And if you are using the free pattern on my blog of this stitch, um, you can contact me through there or you can find me on Instagram. You can contact me here on YouTube and I'll do my best to uh, answer you guys as quickly as possible. And I know um, when you get to like those decrease rows of this stitch, it can get confusing for some people. So please let me know if you have any issues or if anything I did was confusing or if you're still confused on how to make a blanket as large as you want, as tall as you want, just let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to help you. I have all 26 of these letter graphs on my blog that you can download. And then they're also available in the printable version of this pattern that is available in my store. And then all of that information is linked below for you guys too. And I just think this is such an easy crochet pattern to make for somebody if you want to make a gift for someone. It's, you know, it's nice, it's personalized. I feel like it works up super quick after you get that letter done and finished. Another thing I wanted to say is if you are a left-handed crocheter and you want your um, letter to be on the bottom right corner of your pattern, you're just going to have to follow basically from... If I started my right side going from like the top right down to the top left, and that was like the right side of my work, you're going to have to do the bottom left to the top right. I hope it makes sense. You're just going to have to look at it and start your project and say, okay, here's the bottom corner of my project. I'm going to start my letter on, and this is going to be the right side of my project. And when I say right side, I mean right side versus wrong side, not right versus left. And you have to look at it and say, okay... If I want my letter on the right bottom right corner of my project, I'm going to have to start my letter coming up from the left. I hope that makes sense. I think, you know, left-handed crocheters, they, they just know what to do. <laughs> There's too many right-handed crocheters. I'm so sorry. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if that made sense. I'm not sure if if you're a left-handed crochet you're doing corner to corner. I'm not sure if you would even need to say that you even need to do anything opposite. You probably would just have to just have a different right side versus wrong side. I don't know. I'm I'm confusing myself thinking about it. But here is the final sample stitch of of the blanket and this is the exact pattern that I use to create that blanket for my nephew. And if, again, if you have any questions, please, please let me know. Comment them below and I will try to answer them the best to my ability. This is what the back looks like. This is why I call it my wrong side. And then this is, this is the nice pretty side. If you don't want your blanket to have a bad side, you will have to um, cut as you go instead of carrying the colors. You know, create some bobbins, get them ready, and just use use those from there. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this stitch tutorial. If you guys want to check out the blog post associated with this, if you didn't come over here from the blog post, then you can find it linked below where you will find all 26 letters. Or you can get the printable version on in my Etsy shop if that's what you want to do. Print it out for your records if you want to keep like a, a pattern binder of all your patterns that you like. And if you guys make anything... With these letters please let me know tag me in your photos on instagram all of that information is linked below all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video